serious topic. We finished a challenge and we're not sticking to it. We're returning back to bad habits and maybe you're even ditching workouts. So today I'm going to talk to you about the challenges and the ups and the downs of pursuing your long-term fitness goals. So in this discussion, I'm going to explore the importance of staying committed, finding a balance and being aware of your choices when it comes to your weight loss or your fat loss or your fitness journey. The first thing that we have to understand guys is that there's always going to be high and there's always going to be low times of efforts that you put towards your long-term fitness goals. Now during these challenges is when you go hard. So in a belly burn, you're going absolutely hard, just like an in season for sports. Then there's times where you're going to focus on just enjoying the journey. The best times is when you can do both. Be 100% dialed into your workouts, be 100% dialed into your nutrition, but at the same time, I want you to enjoy it. Now, number two, unless you're doing something just as active as working out, you should never ditch a workout. So if you got the weekend coming up and you're like, oh, I got to, you know, pack the car and get ready and blah, blah, blah. We both know that packing that car isn't as hard as lifting those weights. So unless you're lifting, you know, like the tents and lifting all this equipment and propane tanks and this and that by yourself and you do that for the next two hours, then you should always go to the gym. You might just have to switch your workout times. You might have to go first thing in the morning, but you got to understand that it's the days that you don't want to is the days that you get the results. And throughout the summer or after the challenge, there's going to be plenty of days where you don't want to do it. But I'm telling you right now, those are the days that you're going to get the results. So never ditch a workout. The thing about bad eating is that it's just having bad awareness. So if you're not aware of what you're eating, by the time you wake up and realize what you've done, it's already too late. The calories are in you. Your body's absorbing it. It's done. Okay. I'm not saying it's over for you, but I'm just saying that you need to be more aware of what you're eating. So you don't have to like sit there with a spoon and you need to weigh everything while you're at the restaurant. But what I'm going to tell you is before you eat it, put it into my fitness pal. If you're going to have a Euro, put the Euro in there. If you're going to have a beer, put the beer in there. And then this way you're more aware of what you're eating and it might restrict you from just having the Euro, the beer and avoiding the cheesecake. So bad eating is bad awareness. So guys, I want you to remember that sticking to a plan, maintaining a healthy diet and staying consistent with your workouts are crucial for achieving your weight loss, your fat loss, and even your fitness goals. So what you need to do is embrace the challenges and see them as opportunities to push harder while finding joy in the journey. Stay focused, create balance and develop awareness of what you consume. And guess what? 365 days from today, if you're focused, and you're more aware and you never miss a workout, you're going to be 100% happy with your results.